Happy Resurrection Day. For those of you who are watching and not familiar with us, I'm Steve Hopped. I'm one of the pastors at Piney Ridge Church in Wentzville, Missouri. This morning, Pastor Jason spoke about the, the fact that God is the giver of, of all gifts and that he himself is our greatest gift, our greatest treasure. He spoke about the joy that we experience now because of our union with Christ, and he spoke of the even greater joy that we will have when we are able to see him face to face. He spoke of the satisfaction that we have in God and the security and confidence that God gives us, that the confidence that our relationship with him is permanent, that not even death can separate us from the love of God. But maybe you don't have that assurance. Maybe you've never put your faith in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for, your, for the forgiveness of your sins and for your salvation from the wrath of God. I want to encourage you to do that today. I, I encourage you to pray, to repent of your sin, and, and ask God to save you. You see, here's the gospel. It's very straightforward. We were all born into this world with a broken relationship with God because of sin. But God made a way for that relationship to be restored by entering into our world in the person of Jesus Christ. And after living a perfectly sinless life, Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, allowed himself to be brutally murdered on a Roman cross in order to atone for the sins of his people. He died so that sinners like you and like me could live. And then God raised him from the dead on that first Easter morning, to signify that he had accepted Jesus' sacrifice on behalf of all who would place their faith in him. I encourage you to believe the good news. I encourage you to embrace the good news. And as I said, I encourage you to repent of your sin and ask Jesus to forgive you and save you. If you would like to talk more about the gospel or about how you can be saved, you can send an email to any to all of the pastors at one time. The, the email address is prcpastors, prcpastors at pineyridgechurch.org. For those of you who have placed your faith in Jesus Christ and been baptized in a local church, I encourage you now to prepare to take communion together. And as you take communion this morning, remember that Jesus Christ suffered and died for you, but also remember that he burst forth from the tomb on that first Easter Sunday in triumph over sin, in triumph over Satan and all of his forces, and in triumph over death. With Paul, we can exult, O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, hell, where is your victory? Followers of Christ, Take communion this morning with joy, exulting in Christ's victory over death, exulting in the fact that because of our union with Christ, we too will be raised from the dead by the same Spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Death will no longer have the final word. Rather, Christ Jesus will have the final word, and it will be a living word, and it will result in everlasting joy and glory for those who are in Christ. Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper on the night that he was betrayed, the night before he died. And after celebrating the Pass Passover with his disciples, he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he said, this cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Take it and drink. Paul says that as long as we do this, we, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And this morning, we also proclaim that he is alive, that we will be with him in the fullness of joy and with pleasures forevermore. Let's pray. Lord God, we are so thankful that, that you did come, that you did live a perfect life, that you did suffer and die on our, in our place 
on our behalf on the cross. And we're grateful and thankful that you rose from the dead, that you rose in victory over sin and over Satan and over death. And we're thankful that you have prepared an inheritance for us, that, that death will not be the end for those who are, are in Christ, that, that we will rise again to live an abundant life in your presence forevermore. Lord, thank you so much for that. And Father, I pray now for the people in our church. I pray for any who are suffering today. I pray for those who are, are suffering from loss of a job. Lord, I pray that you would provide for them, that, you would, that their faith would be strengthened. I pray for those who are ill, Father. I ask for a healing touch from you. I pray for those who are grieving. And I lift up those who are working on the front lines in, in the hospitals, Lord. I ask you to protect them, to keep them safe from the virus, to keep their families safe. And Lord, give them strength, give them encouragement, give them hope. I pray for those who are suffering from broken relationships. Father, I pray that you would mend their hearts. Lord, be faithful to your promise that you are near to the brokenhearted. Lord, I pray for our community. I pray, Lord, that we will be wise, that we will uh, take precaution in, in, in love for each other and in, with a view toward protecting each other. I pray for our leaders, Lord. I pray that you will give them wisdom to make the right decisions. Father, you are in control. Lord, you could step out and stop this coronavirus today if you so chose. But Lord, we're, we're in this because you have ordained it. And Lord, we trust you. And we pray that you will work out your purposes in us. Lord, I pray that any trial that we endure, that we will endure it with patience and with hope and in, with trust in you. We love you and we worship you and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're a covenant member of Piney Ridge Church or a regular attender, I want to encourage you to continue worshiping this week by giving joyfully. Uh, you can do that by going to our website, www.pineyridgechurch.org, and click on the giving tab. Before we go, I want to send you out with this good word from Colossians 3. If you then have been raised with Christ, seek those things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above and not on things on the earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. Happy Resurrection Day. Go in grace.